5G has become a popular topic of discussion recently because of its unmatchable specs. Hi guys, this is Kavya from Edureka and welcome to this video on 4G versus 5G where we'll talk about all that there is for you to know to understand the all new 5G technology. At first, let's have a look at the agenda. We'll start with the G in 5G and then note the key differences between 4G and 5G. We'll look into the advancements in 5G as well as the variations in 5G. We shall end the session with the applications of 5G in various industries. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description. With that, let's get started. First off, what do you mean when you say 3G, 4G? What is this G? The G in 5G is the generation of cellular networks. Just like in living beings, various generations flow with some common characteristics as well as some new advancements, so does in cellular network generations. With newer generations come newer features. 1G In the 1980s, cellular devices delivered sound using an analog voice signal with a continuous frequency and amplitude. Transmission wasn't very easy and cellular phones of this era were viewed as luxury items due to high connection costs. Voice was the only signal sent via cellular. 2G In the 1990s, the world entered 2G, which converted both voice and telephone dialing into a digital signal. This allowed cellular users to not only call but also send text messages for the first time. 3G the early 2000s welcomed the new millennium by diversifying the number of digital transmissions available to include mobile internet. While it was not nearly as fast as what everyone is used to today, the internet back then was still largely dependent on text and still pictures. 4G In the 2000s, 4G widened the mobile network capacity to reflect the more broadband reality of an evolving internet. This generation gave phones the ability to support high-definition mobile TV, gaming services, video conference calls, and more. 5G Thanks to a tremendous coordinated effort to upgrade cell towers and infrastructure around the world, we are now entering the 5G era. The latest and greatest of all the generations, 5G will introduce the highest download speeds and greatest bandwidth yet, exactly what would be required for AI applications. It is predicted to have 1.7 billion subscribers worldwide by 2025. With that, let's move to the discussion on 4G versus 5G. 5G varies from its existing 4G in five factors, which are speed, latency, coverage, base stations, and bandwidth. Let's see how do they vary. When we talk about 5G network, the primary point of consideration is the difference in speed. Theoretically, the speed of 4G is 100 Mbps, with actual speed lying between 12 to 60 Mbps, whereas 5G networks would have theoretical speed as high as 20 Gbps, with actual speeds close to 1 gigabyte per second, which still makes 5G about 100 times faster than 4G. So with accordance to speed comes latency. Network latency is the amount of time it takes for a data packet to go from one place to another, from being sent to being received. The latency in 4G networks is 50 milliseconds on an average and for 5G networks, 50 milliseconds average with the theoretical assumption to be of as low as 1 millisecond. Thus, 5G reduces braiding time compared to 4G by about 5 times. The coverage of a radio station is the geographic area where the station commutes. It highly depends on the number of people in the area using the same network. So far, 4G has greater coverage being highly popular and being able to penetrate through walls. However, with increasing base stations, 5G is likely to attain greater coverage in the near future. Just as we were talking about base stations, 4G just like its previous generations has huge towers situated in different parts emitting long distance signals. But 5G on the other hand, uses small cell technology and hence it shall have much smaller towers about the size of a pizza box with high frequencies but will have a smaller range. So 5G based stations shall be deployed more densely to emit the signals. 
The bandwidth or frequency band support is the range of frequencies within a given band used for transmitting a signal. For 4G network, this frequency is limited to 2.5 GHz. This explains why 4G speed slows down with many people around because of lower bandwidth and limited capacity. However, for 5G, it ranges from less than 1 GHz to as high as 95 GHz offering wide range of frequencies. Thus, we can say that 5G has greater bandwidth support. Hence, with the comparison, let us summarize the advancements we see in 5G. Obviously, faster speed, making it practically possible to avail super speed, that is 1 to 10 GB per second. Alongside comes lower latency. Theoretically, latency will be 1 millisecond for end-to-end -end round trip. 5G shall provide about 90% reduction in network energy usage, in turn making battery life to last much longer. 5G makes it feasible to connect 10 to 100 numbers of devices, so world will become a Wi-Fi zone. Moreover, there shall be about a thousand times bandwidth per unit area. So when we talk about bandwidth, there are variations within the 5G pertaining to the different bandwidths in the huge range. Let us have a look at that. There are basically three variations within 5G, low band, mid band and high band. The low band 5G is known for wider coverage. The frequency being low enables the signals to penetrate through walls as well as through longer distance. This band offers slower speed in the range of 100 to 300 Mbps that is equivalent to the higher end of 4G. The frequency band for this is up to 1 GHz. This shall be prevalent in the rural and suburban areas. Then comes the mid-band. As expected, this gives moderate coverage. Mid-band frequency offers high speed of around 400 to 600 Mbps. The frequency spectrum for this lies between 2.5 to 10 GHz. Mid-bands have majority of traffic being situated in the suburban and urban areas. High-band frequency, on the other hand, gives low coverage being unable to travel long distance. It offers very high speed, theoretically up to 10 GB per second and at least up to 1 GB per second. The frequency for this high band lays between 20 to 95 gigahertz in the spectrum and as expected, it would mostly be found in urban areas. Next, let's have a look at some of the applications of 5G. First of all, surfing the internet will become a lot more fun with high upload and download speeds. Secondly, many prototypes have been built for cloud-controlled machinery, but they haven't been able to put it to use because of unavailability of proper signals. With 5G, these prototypes will become reality. Next, IoT will revolutionize the world with 5G. We are already familiar with Internet of Things, where we can ask devices such as Alexa to let say turn off the TV. With 5G, sending and receiving these instructions as signals will become much faster. 5G shall also be beneficial in medical purposes. Many medical patients need monitoring 24-7. The reports need to be analyzed in real time by specialists to avoid risks to the patients. With the advent of 5G, this will become easy. Next, using robots for repetitive tasks. Many jobs, such as data entry, require minimal skills, but takes away a person's valuable time. With 5G, smart farming can also become a reality. Farming usually deploys the hard work of a lot of people. One person from afar cannot understand what's the status of crop growth or what to do for it. With 5G's bandwidth, the manpower requirement can be limited. Drones can be deployed to record and check on the crop growth status. An individual can then have the reports on their digital devices and hence analyze the collected data. And finally, with everything around us getting digitalized, it's not too far away from today to have entirely smart cities. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please leave a message in the comment section. Happy learning! I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!